Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Webcard Online and I'm all about the details. 250,000 ringgit is your entry point into premium compact sedans, namely the Mercedes-Benz C200 and the BMW 320i. Buying those two cars proves that you've made it in life. However, remember that those two models are your entry-level variants. So despite getting all the basic necessities, you may not get the full premium experience. However, for the same amount of money, you can get a whole lot more style performance features in the form of this Volkswagen Arteon R-Line. This is the recently launched facelifted version of the Arteon, locally assembled here in Pekan. It now gets a more powerful engine, updated specs, some design tweaks, and of course, a higher price tag compared to the previous lift version. Now the Arteon is aimed squarely, directly at the C200 and 320i. The facelifted version introduced some minimal design tweaks such as a restyled front bumper, redesigned uh, headlamps and tail lamp graphics, However, uh, because there are so few Arteons on the road, you'll be hard to tell the difference between the facelift and the pre-facelift version. I absolutely adore this lapis blue paintwork and this is the same colour as a Golf R. And it just gives the Arteon such a low and wide presence on the road. You know, when you're coming from behind, anybody who sees this car, this front end in the rear view mirror, they'll definitely give way. The fastback styling is not only attractive, it's also super practical. Boot space in the Arteon is rated at 563 litres, much larger compared to a C-Class or 3 Series. Not only that, you also have an aperture of an SUV because of the uh, rear tailgate design. It makes loading items in and out of the Arteon a much more elegant affair. And you also look more stylo standing behind the Arteon than a C-Class or 3 Series. Stepping inside to the cabin of the Arteon facelift, the first thing that caught my attention are these sport seats. They have this like bucket seat styling, but they're so, so comfortable and supportive. Not to mention, they are also Nappa leather and 14-way powered adjustment. You definitely get a perfect sitting position in here. Now, other updates in, introduced in this facelift include a touch-sensitive panel for the climate control as well as an updated steering wheel. Now, I have to applaud VW on their haptic feedback because the feel to it has, I, I don't know, the way that the, the haptic feedback works has a very tactile feel and feels very natural, so that is a definite plus point. Other new features include the Discovery Pro infotainment system that now supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Works flawlessly, zero complaints, I love it. However, I do wish that uh, Volkswagen introduced wireless charging inside the Arteon R-Line because, you know, every time when I connect to the wireless Android Auto and I get out of the car, uh, my, my battery just drains uh, quite fast. So it would be nice to have a wireless charger to have everything wireless. The Dyna Audio setup is now replaced by a 700 watt 12 speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system with a subwoofer. And the setup is fantastic. Uh, the bass is strong and the notes are very well defined. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. Storage spaces and big bottle test passed with flying colors. There's just so much space for you to put your sanitizer, your phone goes right here. Perfect. Seated into the back seat of the Arteon, plenty of space. I have about four tennis balls worth of space, four and a bit more. Space in the footwell, a plenty, despite of this tall center storage hump, no problems. Headroom, despite of its sloping fastback design, I have about one tennis ball's worth of space, so that's all right. And the seat recline is very comfortable and supportive. Amenities in here include rear climate control, so you're able to set the temperature to back pockets. And over here, there's also little pockets for you to uh, put your loose items and probably your face shield. You can just hang it over here, right? No problems. And a center armrest with two cup holders. Yeah, I mean, this is way more spacious 
comfortable compared to a C-Class or 3 Series. Under the hood is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder petrol engine paired to a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission making 280 horsepower and 350 Nm of torque. Now this r does not get the same uh, state of tune as the Golf R. The Golf R has 10 horsepower and 30 Nm more than this r but not only that, the torque band is also quite different between the two cars. In the Golf R, maximum torque comes in at 2,000 to 5,400 RPM, whereas this baby right here has a much wider uh, kind of torque band of 1,700 RPM to 5,600 RPM. Now, what this means is that in the Golf R, you have a much more explosive type of acceleration characteristic, whereas the Arteon feels more like a large capacity engine. It has usable torque. It, you feel the torque throughout the rev range. Just give it a little bit of jab. It feels like a naturally, naturally aspirated engine. Yes, I know it's a turbo, but the feeling when you're driving in normal and comfort mode is very linear. It's very gradual. Power doesn't come on suddenly. I think this is a fantastic plus point. Now this makes the Arteon uh, have a very cruiser type of characteristics. Throttle response in normal and comfort mode is not the most immediate. However, power is very linear, it's very gradual, it doesn't uh, catch you off guard. So it makes the Arteon on long distance highway cruising, it's a natural habitat. But if you're feeling a little bit naughty, you can just dial things up into sport mode. Oh, oh yeah, everything just comes alive. The steering is sharp, the all motion, sorry, the four motion all wheel drive just keeps the car planted, makes it corner like it's on rails. Throttle response, immediate downshifts, instantaneous. Four. And what's the most surprising thing here is the dynamic chassis control, the DCC, even in its set, stiffest setting, is still sublime. I mean, I could very well uh, daily in the most aggressive setting all the time because going over undulations, no feel. And I mean, guys, this is running on 19 inch alloys. And it's more comfortable than the uh, 320i running on 18s. Super impressive. And it has this trick thing where in sports mode, um, the, the, it, the sound system just pipes in kind of an artificial uh, engine note. You hear a lot of it in the cabin. You hear a lot of it in the cabin, but outside is absolutely muted um, because it's just the, the way this car is set up differently compared to, for example, a Golf R, which has uh, pops and crackles. This one is just um, a, a more comfort cruiser with a lot of power. If I were to sum up my brief experience in the r 2 r line in two words, it would be worth it. Based on every technical factor out there, the r 2 r line is just a whole lot more impressive compared to the entry-level C200 and 320i. It drives better, more sophisticated ride quality, it has a more premium interior, better features, much more powerful engine, the whole driving experience is just more exciting and engaging compared to the C200 and uh, 320i. Not only that, it's also more practical and dare I say stylish and feel more special compared to the other two. You're getting a whole lot more for your money and the moment you get behind the wheel of one, you'll be instantly hooked. However, the only problem with the Arteon R-Line is the VW logo on the key fob. At Peacock Social Settings, having a VW key on the table isn't just quite sexy enough. And let's not kid ourselves, these kind of things matters. It matters to people having a premium brand. Because normally we would, uh, naturally, we would equate having a premium brand equals to you've made it in life, you're successful, and a successful person is naturally more trustworthy. The things that they say carries more weightage, which is why you see influencers die-die also they have to get a premium brand, Mercedes or BMW, just to 
prove themselves that they are more trustworthy. It's sad, but such is the reality. But once you walk out towards a car park and you see an Arteon 3 Series and a C-Class park side by side, you know instantly which one will be the head turner. But let me know in the comment section below which would be your pick, a 3 Series C-Class or this Arteon R-Line. For me personally, Arteon R-Line. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Webcar app on Apple App Store and Google Play Store for all your latest reviews, news and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car.